Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial, Zotero Part 5, using Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Zotero with Microsoft Word to create in-text citations and bibliographies or works cited pages. First, it is important that you have the most up-to-date version of Microsoft Word and that you have the Zotero desktop app open in the background. For this example, we are going to use a pre-written paragraph and add our citations. We suggest that when you're writing your own work, that you cite as you go and not save the citation work for the end. Begin by opening Microsoft Word. After installing the Zotero desktop app, you should now have a new ribbon option in Microsoft Word for Zotero. If this item is not there, restart Word. If you are still having issues, visit www.zotero.org support for additional help. Now let's explore the Zotero features in Word. The Zotero tab may look different to you based on your version of Word. To add a citation in Word, we are going to go to the Zotero tab and select Add slash Edit Citations. When you add your first citation, you can choose your preferred citation style. We are going to use APA 7. You should then see a Zotero pop-up bar, and you can use this search bar to type in the title, the author, or keywords to search for your desired citation. Select your citation. After it appears in the box, you can click on it and customize it and add other important citation information like page number for a direct quotation. You can also add multiple citations at once. When you are done adding your citations, press enter and Zotero will create your citation automatically for you. If you do not like using the search bar to add your citations, after you select Add Edit Citation, you can also select the Z icon and select Classic View. This will allow you to view your Zotero collections and add citations this way. When you are finished adding citations, you can add a bibliography to the end of your paper. Select the Add Edit Bibliography button. Now make sure that you check for any errors. It is important that if you need to edit any reference for mistake, like a spelling error or if the citation does not have the correct author or date, that you edit the reference in Zotero and not in Word. If a reference is edited in Word, it will not edit the source in Zotero. These changes will disappear when the document refreshes. If there is a mistake, go to Zotero, select the item, and edit it on the right. Then go back to Word and select Refresh. If you've realized that you need to change your citation style, you can do that as well. Select Document Preferences and you can change the citation style and the document will update automatically. If you plan to submit your Word document or send it to someone else, make sure that you unlink your citations. If someone else opens your document and they do not have your library, the citations will not work. However, once you unlink your citations, you cannot relink them. Be sure to keep a copy of the linked document to continue editing in the future. You can also use all of these tools in Google Docs. This will automatically activate when you download your Zotero web browser extension. You will use the Zotero tab for this feature. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.